Hi, my name is Gary Davis. I'm with Autodesk Media and Entertainment Division, and we're here at the box booth at SIGGRAPH 2013, taking a look at, I'm gonna refer to my cheat sheet here. The, this is the 8980 Extreme Workstation. Uh, this particular uh, machine is equipped with two GPUs. That's the uh, Quadro K5000, as well as the Tesla K20C. But collectively, those two boards make up what's called the Maximus board set. So within the uh, machine itself, we've got two Xeon processors each uh, that are eight cores, hyper-threaded out. And you can see that with hyper-threading, that actually equates to 32 threads. So we've got a you know, heck of a lot of horsepower, both for CPU rendering as well as GPU rendering within the machine. And I'm going to hear, just kind of elaborate a little bit on what we can do in a typical work uh, environment. We're also going to be highlighting two different uh, machines that are sort of off camera right now that are render pros. And those are uh, a little bit of a different form factor. They're made for artists to have, whether they're in the facility or in a machine room. So I don't know if you can get that or if we can insert. So the, the blinky lights over there that you're looking at right now are the two render pros that I'm actually rendering on in the background. So as we talk, I'll kind of elaborate on how, how that's all going down. So I'm here in uh, 3ds Max 2014. And what we've got is a scene from a short film called Gwen and Dave. This is our uh, hero monster, Dave. He's actually a monster, but he's a good guy. So this is a scene that was put together, again, using uh, 3DS Max uh, right out of the box, no plugins or anything. And this was uh, assembled using the Metal Ray rendering engine. So if I bring up the Metal Ray rendering engine, we've got you know, lots of different options for doing uh, CPU rendering. But one of the things that I'm actually doing to take advantage a little bit different is new to this release of uh, Max 2014, we added the ability to do what are called metal ray strings. So if you notice right in here, I've added a couple of command lines that actually, it's not quite a hack or anything like that, but we expose the, the ability for the artist to do a couple of commands lines, and that accesses different uh, frame buffers within the rendering engine. Okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually just go ahead and hit the render button, this is actually the last render that I just did, but it's loading our scene onto the uh, CPUs, and this is a standard metal ray render that's happening. But like I said, I've actually given a few little command lines to, in addition to using all the CPUs in this computer, I'm using both GPUs to render what's called the ambient occlusion pass. So that's gonna be a hardware version of ambient occlusion in addition to software ray tracing happening at the same time. So here you can see I've got all 32 threads of the computer just pegged at 100%. So I'm, I'm really you know, maximizing the use of both the CPU and the GPU of this machine. And this rendering will take about a minute, so I'll kind of come back to this in a second. Meanwhile, over here what we've got are two remote desktops. And here you can see I'm moving around the desktop of one computer. And over here is another second computer. It's doing the exact same task. So we've got multiple machines all you know, pegged out at 100%. You can see here as it loads a new frame, all 32 cores of our render node are getting maxed out at 100%. So here we're rendering out all these passes over on the render farm in the background. And that, that allows the artist to sort of offload all the tasks of the, you know, the brute force render number crunching and allows me to sit as an artist back on the workstation and do more digital content creation. And whether or not, uh, you know, if I want to go home for lunch or go home for the night or something like that, it's as easy as just coming through and launching what we call Backburner Server. And I can just come through and run uh, the server application. And now this machine is going to just connect to the manager and connect to the entire Backburner render farm. And 3ds Max will start rendering on this machine as well. So now I've really tasked every single computer in this, in this booth uh, to do metal ray rendering both in hardware and in uh, GPU uh, on the software. So we've got hardware rendering, we've got software rendering maximizing every single thread, every single video card, everything happening in the booth at the same time. And then, so our render's finished, and, and back to the action over here, we got our beauty pass that was done on the metal ray uh, software ray tracing, and we've got all of our render passes like velocity, and I did something like a material ID in our ZDAP, those are pretty straightforward uh, render passes. But then here you can notice I've got a GPU-based ambient occlusion. So that was done on the video card. And again, just to kind of reiterate, we did straightforward metal ray rendering on, on the GPU as well as the CPU. So that's a, a little bit of a new feature that we can access with the metal ray string options in Max 2014. So just having some fun at SIGGRAPH, lots of rendering going on, lots of uh, machines with blinky lights going at the box booth. And uh, thanks for your time.